So today we've come here to the George Observatory. Now I remember back in 2006 we came along and there's a mock-up of mission control and a mock-up of a space station and I was put in charge of communications on the mission control side of things because I love to talk. Surprise, surprise. Well we've come back here now in 2015 with our 10 students and let's find out how they enjoy the experience. The George Observatory is a educational facility south of Houston, Texas, about one hour south. And we are here every Saturday to the public with our telescopes. We also have our Expedition Center, which the Sky Space Tool is doing today, uh, which is a team building and problem solving exercise where they do a simulated space flight. Uh, there will be eight different teams. Uh, all the teams will have to work together. And their mission today is to go from the moon to Mars. Uh, we will be throwing some emergencies at them, and they will have to work together and problem solve to land successfully. Houston, we have a Copy that, I would say so. You have less than four minutes of air. Uh, most people, even uh, adults, have trouble working as a team, it seems. And this seems to help. We have a lot of uh, corporations that come out and do this as well. We also have scouts and schools. It's very important that people come out and learn more astronomy and learn as well team building, engineering skills, and basic science skills. We are the SATS team. So essentially, we are the engineers. They actually put the pro parts together. So, so far, we've basically got an electrical circuit here, so a bit of electrical engineering to put the circuitry together so we can launch the probe from the airlock, which is just here. I think I've got the hang of it, I hope, but if we're going to like crash or anything, that's not my fault. <laughs> Each student was allocated a specific role on board the space station that had to launch from the moon and was going to Mars. Uh, once they were in orbit, they then had to fulfil certain uh, specific roles such as uh, comms, data, life support systems and so on. It lasted about an hour and it was meant to uh, replicate what they would do on board the space station. I was part of the robot teams, we came through the airlock and then I sat with the other two robot team members and we had to test for radioactive substances and see if they like glowed or not. Yeah, it was really good, it was really good to work as a team but still work on our really individual parts of it. Um, I thought we were great, we communicated well, especially with um, Rowan who was our communication who really back to Mission Control. Yeah, I was in charge of the communication stand, so everything that we did in the space station I had to relay back to Houston, so I got to say, Houston, we have a problem, the classic one-liner. We started off on a, in our spaceship and, and then we launched off and did all our tasks well in orbit on our way to Mars and then finally I got everything ready so we were ready to navigate onto Mars and successfully land. It's been so cool being back here at the George Observatory. I've had a brilliant day and the students were all amazing in the mock-up of the space station mission to Mars. Very, very cool indeed. And I think all that's left to do is finish off the evening in the perfect way when you're over at NASA and do a bit of stargazing.